Gourmet, the official coffee of the morning blend. In one corner, muscle, and the other, the other corner, fat. You want muscle to win that matchup, don't you? Well, we're getting advice today on achieving and maintaining that tone and that strength from our friends at Complete Nutrition. And meet Deborah Gray. Have you seen her many times on the Morning Blend? And Dan, Dan Dinner, both personal trainers uh, in the Omaha area, and you can tell they're they're in great shape, right? Uh, let's talk about. Most people have gotten into their New Year's resolutions by now. Started working out, made made more of a commitment, right, to get into the gym, and they're 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 burning the treadmill up. But that's not the only thing you want to do, right? Right. And I have to say. Before I started lifting weights, I was a cardio queen. I mean, I thought that was the way to do it. And I'd be in there 45 minutes, an hour, even more. And, you know, you get to that plateau, you're not really seeing that change. If you can start lifting some weight, maintaining some muscle, that muscle burns for days after your workout. So there's an added benefit there. Instead of just doing the cardio, burning the calories at the time, lift the weights, maintain that muscle so it burns the calories at rest. Yeah, and we don't have a lot of time to get into it, but kind of uh, in general, what, what type of things do you recommend? I mean, cardio one day, weightlifting the other day, I mean, what, what do you recommend? I say even with your cardio, if you can uh, make it more interval training so that you are incorporating some of those muscles, those fast twitch muscle fibers, so you burn some. So I always start out with a warm-up with the cardio, about five, ten minutes, do your weight training, and then go into cardio after. You're going to burn fat, you're going to maintain muscle all in the same workout. You can get it done in 45 minutes. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be intense. You can't be like visiting your friends, sure. you know, doing that. Get in the gym, get it done, and get get out of there. That's right. Yeah. Dan's going to talk about some of the supplements in, in, in a second here, but let's yeah. get to this. Isn't that lovely? This is beautiful. Mm. It's kind of Don't scary. You, yeah. If you hold yeah. this, Deb, yes. because this is what, five pounds of fat? Of fat. And what I call this is that subcutaneous fat. That's that fat that we see around our stomach, around the midsection. our tushies, oh. our thighs. Yes. It's the kind that we want to go away. You know, we need essential fat. So I'm not saying eliminate, you know, get all the fat out of us. But and isn't this that is, beautiful? This is blubbery. Yeah. It's squeezable. It, it's um, And I have to say, it, disgusting. that is fat that you see. I had worked on cadavers with my anatomy class, and you open them up, and you see that fat, and it's there. This is not real fat, though. No, this is a, this no, is a rubber. Yeah, yeah, this is rubber. some sort of, just so people at home know, that this, we're not <laughs> holding somebody's midsection right. up here. Uh, and then, and then, and then in this hand, you have five, a five-pound dumbbell. Right, right. And so what I'm getting at is, like, you know, people get on the scale, they've been working out, and they look, and it might have only changed a pound or two. But if we are losing, you know, a pound or two of fat and maintaining that muscle, we're looking tinier, you know, and it, it's, you know, sometimes we get so superficial of how we're looking. I'm saying let's get rid of this subcutaneous fat inside of our bodies, make us healthy so that all our organs aren't at risk. I mean, the more that we have muscle to our body, you know, the healthier it is. Yeah, and we can see the size difference. I yeah. mean, look at the size of the dumbbell versus the fat. Right, So, right. I mean, it makes sense. So, let's set the fat right here. Uh, Dan, <laughs> let's talk about some different types of supplements that are available sure. at Complete Nutrition that can help people achieve those results that Deborah was talking about. Sure. Uh, our latest and greatest is uh, CTS 360. That's kind of the 2011 launch here. And that's right here. Mm -hmm. And this is the this is the product in the pretty packaging. I like yeah. to refer yeah. to. It's, uh, it's kind of designed to be around the clock. Uh, attack fat 24 hours a day. That's kind of the concept with this one. Um, you've got two different levels of fat burners built into the system. Um, you've got your first 30 days um, using an a initial strength fat burner to kind of get your body used to it, to get mm -hmm. rolling, burn those calories, getting results. And then right at, at day 30, you switch up the strength and go into a different level of fat burner to continue the progress to kind of eliminate the, the possibility of plateauing. So, so on a daily regimen of, of taking these supplements, I mean, do you take each one of those throughout the course of the day, or mm -hmm. do you break it up over a period of time? You've got a morning dose. You've got what I kind of like, a, kind of a midday dose to kind of get, you, know, you hit that wall in the middle of the day. You want to get those snacks. You know, you, you need to get yourself through that afternoon kind of hump there. So what it's going to do is kind of get you through, and then, and then your nighttime for basically your nighttime detox and replenish your body for the the, the coming day. Yeah, so. for the next day. Sure. Uh, and then we, we do, we know these, the protein. The protein is critical to, to muscle growth, mm -hmm. helping you lose weight. And tell us about these products. Products here, um, th these are your protein supplements. We've got the smoothie, uh, the Smart Smoothie. We've got the V-Core. Um, they're designed um, to be like a meal replacement, a post-workout recovery, but it's going to get you the results that you need. Um, it's a great start for the morning. Um, also, it's, um, it's, a, it's a great core product. Yeah. And what are the difference between these two? I mean, they kind of both achieve the same type of things, but are, yeah. they, are they four different types of individuals? Yeah, they're, they're both very lean proteins. Um, you're, you're, you're not overdoing the, the, the sugar and the, the calories in these. Um, both have the essential 17 amino acids to, to, to get that recovery, to, to keep your muscles strong and thus tone. 
So um, it's not a weight gainer by any means. It's more of a it's a it's lifestyle. Yeah. So yeah. it's a lifestyle. Yeah. So what do we what do we aim for when we're trying to achieve that, you know, that perfect scenario of, of, of you know losing some of the fat on our bodies um, and still not losing muscle as well. So what do we what do we aim for? Right. When you're trying to lose weight, you want to do about a pound to two a week. If you're losing any more than that, most of the time it's water weight anyhow. And so if you're losing that way, I always say if you can start out getting body fat checked. There's three good ways to do it. The hydrostatic underwater way, mm -hmm. doing that bioelectric uh, impedance test, and sure. then also skimfold. And if you could check that once a month and use the same person who's checking it, you know, whatever you choose, because, you know, different people vary on how they to do the testing. To make sure those results are, the, are but, similar. Yeah, and then going by that. So if you can see, you know, a, a half to a percentage every two weeks of body fat, lowering and the range for women we usually want them 25 to 30 is normal and men it's 18 to 25 percent but I have to say you know incorporating this I've used it myself like before workouts it does give you that good energy I've used it on some of my uh, personal training clients and they're seeing good results too so anything that can add that added benefit and again it's not you know the superficial of what we look outside it's making ourselves healthy from within and that's what complete nutrition does is they get those great products just to take care of us our bodies and make us healthy all yeah. over well dan yeah. and deborah they always bring a gift for morning blend viewers yeah. and you know they're they're very technical about this because it's not just 20 they don't round to 20 percent. <laughs> they try to squeeze the maximum out of the savings so we're at 22 percent off your next purchase if you mention the morning blend on your next visit to complete nutrition or you can go to complete nutrition.com to check out all the, the line of products, supplements, and, and other diff different types of products as well. So uh, yeah. five different locations around the metro area. You can see those right there on the screen. And uh, I think I've, I've been into almost every one of those except for one. Wow. Can't you tell? Really? Yes, I can. <laughs> Get in there today. Felt, Mike. Thanks, guys, for yeah. coming. Dan, thanks a lot. Deborah, Absolutely. good to see you. Good we'll to see you, see you yeah. again real yeah. soon. Mary, over to you. Oh, Mike, you crack me up. Guests of the Morning Blend start their day with coffee from Paris Gourmet, the official coffee of the Morning Blend. You can learn more about Paris if you'd like. Just go to omahamorningblend.com and click on the Paris logo right on the home page. You brought the fat you can, with you. You can really use this for I motivation. Joke, as women, we feel like we might as well just stick it right down here, <laughs> right in the front and belly part. I'm going to set that on my dresser <laughs> at home. Have that uh, it's an interesting concept, using animals to teach kids about science. Right, that's the point of a new animated show, and we're chatting with the two brothers behind it up next. Go deep. <laughs> go deep. <laughs>